think it all evolves around our athletes that if they're given the opportunity, they're so coachable, number one, you couldn't coach a better athlete. You know, they may just long jump two feet, eight inches, but they work so hard and train so hard at that, and they turn around and look at you and you go, two feet, eight inches, and that smile comes on their face, and they're ready to do it again, and they're ready to practice hard to make themselves better. They're not only making themselves a better athlete, they're making themselves a better person. You know, I always say to them, if you're having a bad day, take a look, call the 800 number, see what's going on in your area. Because for example, Pennsylvania has 56 programs. So there isn't anywhere you can go in Pennsylvania that does not have uh, a program. Sit there. I'd like you to volunteer, but first sit there and just tell me what you feel when you're watching these athletes compete. And if something doesn't happen emotionally to you, I would suggest going and getting checked up by, by a doctor because it just happens. It's very hard to explain. It's one of those things where you say, oh, you have to be there. Well, you do have to be there. The torch run before opening ceremony, which is our main event at Penn State. Um, I've been doing it for so many years, it's hard for me to hold back the emotion and the tears. And I know it's coming. You know, if you're a first time volunteer, you're not that sure about everything, you know? And, and I just have to look and I go, who's ever standing either my right or left or both, I just, it never fails. It just never fails. The athletes have been given an opportunity not only to show what they can do on the athletic field, but what they can do in the community, how they can contribute to the community. It's not only transformed their lives, it's transformed mom, dad, the grandparents, the family, and friends. Now they can see, through Special Olympics, what happens if a volunteer gives his time, um, if there's a program like Special Olympics, because if you're if you have somebody like that or know somebody like that and have a friend and they're not in the program, I can only encourage them to get there as soon as possible. Because when you think about it, if you have a intellectually challenged sister, brother, friend, whatever, what is there for them to do? What do you see in the, well, the obvious thing is Special Olympics. Playing a little bit of pro ball on the weekends in, in, in a minor league, and a job came up almost immediately of special ed. And I said, I went to interview for the job and got it and uh, did it for 35 years. continue to get the message out just like we're getting it out right now and get people involved and get sponsors and have our program grow and get more athletes involved. Um, that's the message we want to get out. But the real message underneath that all is just watch what happens. There'll be a transformation that's just unbelievable and you won't have to do anything. Just make sure that your child or adult is involved in our program, Special Olympics will take care of the rest. Get involved, be a volunteer, be a fan.